Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shanu Earlier Crab Doctor, and I'm here with the pop up bouquet uh, dies by Anna Griffin so that I can make the card um, using the dies just like I used, um, the, just like from the kit. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is choose some paper. And what I did was I used, or well, I'm going to use paper from the Explosion Box House Kit that we had from um, Create 7. So I'm going to, oh yes, I'm going to pick this cute paper here and use these two sheets to do this. I'm using them because they're uh, a match so that when I cut the paper, it'll be the same inner piece. Okay, so I can use the die if I want, but I'm not going to use the die because I know that I can cut this um, to five and a half. By 11. Okay. Score it at five and a quarter. Was I supposed to score it at five and a half? I must have. Okay. Score it there. And this is my card base. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I was doing the card base. And duh, five and a half by five and a half is what this is supposed to be. So that's what this is. And then I'm gonna cut this other piece out, and I'm gonna cut this to ten and a half by five. And that's where I'm supposed to score it at five and a quarter. Make sure you're using your scoring blade. So that's five and a quarter. Okay. And I'm just going to give this a varnish. Okay. So that is the two pieces. So this piece will be our trying to make sure that the design is the right way i don't think it has a respect to design okay so then this piece will go in the middle here okay just like that and it'll fit right in the middle like this okay so we're going to put this aside we're going to take our T ruler, okay? We're gonna take our T ruler. Oh, and I already put the score line there and I wasn't supposed to, I wasn't supposed to score it because it doesn't get scored straight. Okay, so let me grab another piece of paper because it wasn't supposed to get scored straight. So that's okay. We will just pick another sheet. I'll just use this one instead. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to cut this to five. Wait one minute. Is it, was it okay to score that piece? Let's see. look at the directions and see. No, I was I was not supposed to score it yet. Um, the card base is okay, but not that. Okay, so then we're gonna cut this down to ten and a half, right there. And the reason why you're not supposed to score it is because your score lines is on this this piece here. That's why. Okay, so then we have this piece which is the piece that this is. So then we take our T ruler 
and let's see how is that gonna that's gonna look fine i think that's gonna be okay yeah hmm. Hmm. that's a little toned down that's quite on the busy side you know what i think i'll use this side because there's a lot going on on this side okay so this here you take your tea ruler your tea ruler and you mark five and a quarter so I'm using the edge as my straight part and five and a quarter here and you do the same at the top five and a quarter here like that then you take your die and you make sure that your die place the die on top of the five and a quarter score mark so I'm going to take this here and I'm going to place it right there see this is my thing I'm I'm just gonna put it Am I supposed to put it, let me see, place the pop-up die in the center of your card, center of the card layer, aligning with the vertical score lines with the marks on the card stock. Place the pop-up die with this in the center of the card layer. supposed to put it in the center of the card layer y'all but if i'm not supposed to score it how do i know where the center is it's where the marks are duh and so make sure that when you're doing this that these are facing your right okay so where are you you are here you are here Okay, make sure it's facing, these are facing the right. And then take this in place. Okay, now you take this here. here and we're gonna, we're gonna die cut it okay we're gonna run this through the die cutting machine they say die cutting and boss but generally, this machine embosses pretty well. Okay, I do see the score marks. But will I see the score marks when I take this off? Oh, yes. Yes, I can see the score marks. I can see them. Okay, so let's put this back on here okay so now i have this die cut this die cut piece and my card base here and what you do is you match up your score marks top and bottom with your card base that's the first thing that you do I'm just I'm just folding it, give it a little bit of um, wiggle, 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 because it is matching up. Just making sure it's matching up without messing with these insides. So then I'm going to just take this and place some glue all the way around, 
and I'm going to put some glue in those spaces, but not where they supposed to bend. Okay. Don't put glue where it's supposed to bend or they won't open up. Okay. Then this is the front. This is my front. This part goes at the bottom, the small one. And all you do is you match up those score lines on each side and you can match them up really good because you have a pencil mark there and then you just glue this down okay let's just glue it down i see a little peak up here that's not glued down Make sure it's glued down. It is. Okay. So once you got it all glued down, go back in and take out your pencil marks. <laughs> okay. So now this is our card base. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift up, not that piece, but this piece and this little one here. So I'm just using an awl and I'm just going to go under right where that needs to be fold it and I'm just going to give it a little fold a little pinch in this one is right here I'm just going to get out a little pinch in I'm going to go under this one and give this one a little pinch in this one is right there I can see it you may not be able to and this one is right here so then what you do is you make sure that these are all standing up where they need to be pinched at and you fold your card base, massage your card base so it can fold and these can be pinching. This one needs to stand up where it needs to go. And then all of these back here, this one is a, the, it's a valley mountain, then valley is right there. And I need to get that valley up. Hope I didn't put blue back there. <laughs> Then I need to get this mountain up and get this valley up. This valley is right there. Okay. And voila. Voila. And that is how it's supposed to look. So then I'm going to just go in and just add a little burnish to the score lines. Okay. And so you don't put anything here, no glue here, no glue here. It just goes on these tops, okay? So then when you open up, it'll open up like this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to die cut our die cut pieces. And I'm going to do this. Um, <laughs> can't even pull it off. I want to use this big one too. Holy and the moly. Did y'all put this on here with super glue? Good Lord Almighty. There. Whew. That set. I want to use this set. <laughs> Good night. I need to get this on the metal uh, plate soon or I'll be done broke my finger. And I think I might use this one. And you know what? I was going to use it out the kit, but I'm going to use this one piece here Whew. and this piece here. Um, I did die cut them, remember, on my other video. I still have them, so I'm going to use these two pieces here. Okay, so what colors are we going to use? Did this have any colors? Um, I think this was gold or something. Um, hmm. I don't even know. <laughs> what, does our, what does our ones in here look like? Oh, these are all colored. These are all colored in flowers. So they really don't help me. Okay, so let's get some um, of that cute paper. 
that I used before this paper. And I'm going to take this, this gold and I'm going to die cut the three of these out. I hope they all fit. Yep, they'll fit. Okay, get the plates. I'm gonna die cut these all at one time. Okay. So I'm gonna, gonna die cut those all at one time. And then I'm gonna take the pink paper and I'm going to die cut out our bigger pieces. Our flowers, I'm sorry. We're gonna die cut our flowers. So I'm gonna toss that over there. I'm gonna put this right here for now. And we're gonna take these flowers, I mean the pink, and we're gonna die cut out our flowers. Here. Okay, so let's die cut out our flowers. And I think this is supposed to be embossed. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's supposed to be embossed. Where's my embossing pad? Okay, I'm gonna grab an embossing pad over here. And then we're going to just pop this on to emboss those. I think you're supposed to take out that magnetic mat, but I don't know. Let's see if, if this will go through. Oh, it went through. No, it didn't. Let me refurse. When you emboss, you have to take out the magnetic magnetic piece to emboss and actually you're supposed to take this part out too or I think you can you should um, I'm gonna remove all of my debris and I'm gonna set this back in here like that and then I'm gonna take this cut it out I'm gonna take this and then emboss. I think that's how that works. I don't really emboss much. I don't even know the, where the embossing pad is to this big set because I don't put it somewhere because I don't emboss much. Let's see if it embossed anything. Okay, let's see if it embossed anything. I don't think it did. Oh, it did. It embossed. Did you see that? It embossed it. I don't think it's going to be useful because in the embossing of this, these flowers, I want to put a green on the leaves. So embossing it, I need to emboss those green leaves. So the whatever I the paper that I choose for the leaves is I'm going to have to make sure it gets embossed. Okay, and let's take this one off. Which should, it should have fell out quickly because this is the one that I had to put back in. <laughs> Look at this. It's super cute. I love this. Okay. Yeah, I know this is taking up time, but. Okay. Okay, so now I need to put this. Here 
and then I need to grab a green piece of paper. Some green. Of course, at the printer, I cannot always find, but here is some green paper from Create. And green sparkly will work fine. Okay, so then what we're going to do is I'm going to die cut these again for the green bottom piece. Okay, so three times is only the amount you're supposed to throw it down. Okay, now we're going to. <laughs> I put it upside down. Okay, so then we're going to take this and we're going to run this through. So we got our three flowers. We have our three matte layers. Our three matte layers. We have our green leaves. And then, what did I do with this piece? bottom piece and then I want to see if I have enough on here to run these through um, that one is good let me switch that one is good This one might be a little tight, but we're going to see if it works. Okay, there's another plate. On the Just to get that little, those two um, pieces, Let's run that. Oh, I'm supposed to emboss this. Okay, I cut those out, and then I'm going to take those are my long flakes. Okay, I don't need that. Oh, I do need that. I need to take this and put it on here. Whoa. Oh, it's still in here. Okay, so I can only do two at a time. And I'm gonna take this. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to emboss this, these two. And the only reason why I'm embossing them is for the leaves. Right there. I'm just embossing for the leaves. So the leaves can be embossed. Okay, and see how good that embossed those? Okay, so we're going to take these two off. I'm going to pop this one back in here. Put this boss in, make sure that's in there. Put this back on and emboss this one. Okay, now we have this one. 
is embossed. The leaves are embossed. You can see that really, really clear. Then we're gonna take these out. This oh, this really did really well. And then this one. Oh, that one did too. Barely, but I got it. And the important part is that I got it. Okay. So now let's put this baby together. And I'll put these back on the card in a minute. Okay. We'll put all these back up here. That's really super thin. That's why I didn't emboss. I'm gonna get them off. Okay, so I'm trying to straighten up at the same time. Excuse me, y'all. Okay, so let's put this together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our flowers and our backers, these backers, and we're going to glue them on. What I don't like, as I said before about this, is they could have simply cut out these pieces for us. They, you know, gave us a die I shouldn't have to cut the piece. I shouldn't have to cut the piece myself. They should have gave us some dyes. You know these leaves are green. Why wouldn't you give us a dye for the um for the leaves? You gave us a backer that I that's not sticking. Do I don't have enough glue on here. No, I don't. That's why. Okay, you gave us this backer piece. I think it would have been only good if you'd have gave us some leaves. And you gave us leaves, but you didn't give us the leaves we needed to mat layer these, is what I'm saying. I appreciate giving us leaves to make it pretty, but mat layering these leaves would have been even better. Okay, so all I'm doing is putting some glue on these. I'm just dotting. Because I didn't do it on the first one, so I figured I better do it on the second one. Okay, now. And then, this looks super cute. These look really super cute. I love this this um set. I wasn't going to buy it, because I was like, no, I'm not going to buy it. But I decided to, um after I seen VNA. VNA, I love you so much. You are such an enabler. Your cards turn out so beautifully. And so it made me want to do it. And so as soon as the um, our program get up and running, these will be a part of it. Everything that I own will be a part of that program. Um, for kids, adults, it doesn't matter. Just to teach crafts to people in the neighborhood. I'm going to advertise for the seniors to come out and everything. Everybody is going to be welcome. I'm just praying I can get funding for it. Because once all my supplies is gone, we got to have some money to do some stuff. Okay. So now we got that. Those are so cute. Look at those. They're so cute. Stick my new pen in that. And then, so we have these. So what I'm going to do is... I want those leaves, but I have to cut off these edges of the flower. So I'm going to try to be strategic and cut in places that will work. Um, cause this is the flower head. So I'm going to try to cut around that and that. Um, and here. Okay, and let's see if this looks good.
Okay, I like that. Oh, I like it. What I probably should have done was the other the other way. I should have put the cut the green and then cut the heads off. You know what I'm saying? So I'm matching this up. I'm matching this up and then I should have another one put up there. So it'll be on top of the, on top of the um, red, but that's still good. That's still good. That's going to go right here. Okay. So then this one, this one. We're going to, I'm going to go here, here, and I'm going to go up here. There's, no, this one. <laughs> Let's see if that looks good. Perfecto. Yeah, I should have done it on the bottom. Um. I should have put the green as the full one and matted the bud head. But it's okay. It still looks good. Super cute. There we go. And then we have our last one here. Okay, let's see. We want to cut here, there. Mm -hmm. I know I want to cut there and then here, here. And I'm going to try it there and see how this one looks. Oh, yeah, that's that's yes. OK, so let's put some glue on here. And embossing that leaf made it look really good. Okay, so we're going to match these up. Okay, and now we're matched. We got those three matched up. Okay, and then we have these. And we have our little green head, so we don't need... You know what I noticed? It's two tone on tone. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go grab something else. Okay, so let's do this. Let's see. I wanna put this one here. I know that. So then we're going to just put lo uh, lotion. <laughs> Funny, we're gonna put glue right here. I'm going to put glue right here for that one, that one, Let's, I'm laying that one down, Let's glue this into place. And so I need to lower it. I need to lower it because you don't want it to come above here when it's closed. Yeah, there we go. I want it to be right there. And I'm just pushing the glue into place. So then it's closed, it won't show. Okay. And then... I want this one to go here. 
I'm putting this one here. Or should I put this one here first? Or should this one go here? Oh yeah, this one is gonna hang off this and that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put a little glue here and a little glue here. So this one is gonna hang off both of those, okay? So that will go there and that will go there. So I'm just, no, 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 no. The thing about it, mm, nope, that, that can't work because when you lay it down, oh, there, it can't show. So I can put it on there, those two. Uh, nope, I can only put it on one. So I'll put it on this one. I can put this one on that. You can't put it on both of them because the legs... Um, I won't be able to do that because the legs of it will stick out right here. But I can put it on that top one. Look at it. It's super cute. Pressing it. Stick on there, lady. I'm holding it so it can stick. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, still wrong. Let me put it a little bit higher. The glue, I mean. Yeah, I got it glued in the right spot. But I don't. Okay, see, this is the thing. You have to make sure that it's glued in the right spot. Hold on one minute. My husband is calling for afternoon chicken. Okay, I, while I was answering my phone call from my husband, I realized I needed to put the leaf on there. That's where the glue needs to go, on the leaf. And so, it won't show at the bottom. That's where it needs to go. Okay, there we go. See, look at that. So cute. Okay, and then this one will go here. So then I'm just going to put the glue on here and park my leaf right there. That's where I'm parking it, right there. I wanted to look at this one. Oh, because, oh, okay. And so look, it's so cute. Look at that gorgeousness. Um, I'm just holding it down so it can glue into place. And it's just glued right on that wing. It's not glued on the side. If you can see, there's there not there's nothing glued on the side just on the tops and then they do a uh, wiper it's called the wiper style when you open it up this one doesn't have anything on it so standing by itself let's see if I can probably yep I can what I'll do is I'll take this since there's nothing on there I'll just put a dab of glue back there and I'll lay it down so then you won't see it. So that's what you can do if you don't put one on one on a particular one. Just glue it down back into place. So then now it's don't look out of place right there. Okay, so I'm going to pause you right quick so that I can cut out some more of these so they, they're not tone on tone because they are. But I'm going to keep them. So I'm going to cut out some green ones, I think. Mm, maybe some pink ones. I don't know. Let's see. Hold on.
Okay, so what I did was I cut out two pair of them, one for the front and one just to go inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this kit and I'm going to get these. And this is what you use to write. So I'm just going to pull one out. So then that I can put it right here on the inside of the card to have it so people can write. So it's a sticker. This is a little really long video. <laughs> okay, so this is going to go right here. And I'm going to see if I can do this the way I want to. I want to wrap this in here. And then I wrap this one in here. That's how I want that to go. Okay, so did I pick the right pair? Um, those go with, yeah, that's the right pair. I picked the, the, the opposites. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some glue on these. And I'm going to tuck that under there because all I want is just a little bit to be showing on top. Okay, and then I'm going to do this one. It's taking me a little bit extra to do this. I'm kind of dragging. I've been dragging for the last few days. My blood sugar has spiked over 600 and I'm tired. <laughs> I'm trying to work to get it down. Okay, should I do it? No, this way. And I'm just going to stick. I don't want that to be hanging out. I want something to be hanging on top of that. <laughs> so, there we go. Okay. Let me put a little glue on this tip. I thought these were matching mates, but they can't be. <sighs> I don't know. They are matching mates. It's just what I'm trying to do ain't working. Anyway, it's working out because voila, that's the inside of my card. So we're going to fold this in. And then I'm going to go back into this kit. And I'm going to grab... Two tone on tone. Better. Sending you best. Sending you best of wishes. And this is a sticker also. And I'm going to do the same thing for this. I'm going to stick this down right in the middle. And That's how I want it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to put this glue on the inside. I mean on here. And stick that down. And I'm going to do the same to the top part. Just so it won't move out of place. And stick this down. So then this goes right here. And that little piece gets stuck underneath there. Stay down. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm not putting glue on all of it so then some of it can still stick up so it can kind of show as if it was like a movement because that's what you want. You want a little movement in your cards, but be careful because sometimes they can stick or get caught on something. 
and uh mainly mostly going in and out the envelope it'll get caught like that little piece these pieces will get caught and there we go this was a long one but it was moving parts and pieces normally i have um normally when i do my videos i have all these pieces cut but i really wanted to show you how it looks to do this from start to finish and I did some pausing in the middle because I had phone calls and I messed up. Uh, this is the third time I taped this video because I've kept die cutting the wrong side. Anyway, look how beautiful this turned out. Sending you warm wishes. Voila! And our little pieces, our leaves are green. And now you can write in there. So this is the Anna Griffin pop-up die set thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you in the next one